Well, folks, here is my first blog. Blog. Psalm 1 has always impressed me very much. I have the entire psalm uh, memorized. It's familiar. Maybe many of you do as well. But the first couple of verses especially I want to talk about today. Verse 1 starts off with, Blessed is the man who... Oh, that ought to get our attention. How do we be blessed? Well, that's exactly what this passage is going to talk about. How you can be blessed. Some translations translate that word blessed as the word happy. Happy is the man. So we can say Psalm 1 talks about how to have a happy life. Verse 1 starts off here, how to have a happy life with what we shouldn't do, what we should stay away from. First of all, it talks about blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. Talks about the kinds of people that we need to stay away from, the kinds of people that we need to not allow to influence our life. I like the progression here. I think it's kind of interesting. He first talks about walks not in the counsel of the wicked. And then he says, nor stands in the way of sinners. And then he says, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. It, it, it almost pictures, you know, a naive Christian man walking by a group. Then he hears them talking and it catches his interest and he stops and stands and listens. And then pretty soon he actually sits down and becomes a part of them. Walks, stands, and sits. Notice that third group, scoffers. Scoffers are negative people. They're the kinds of people that are always criticizing good things. Maybe they're jealous of the good things, or they don't like what the good things stand for. They scoff at them. Negativity is easy to catch, kind of like a virus. We hang around negative people, their negativity is going to rub off on us, and pretty soon we are going to be scoffers as well. Now, verse 2 talks about the alternative. First of all, we should not walk among those people who are going to influence us in a bad way, but we should be influenced in the good way with the Word of God. Verse 2 says, but his, that's the man who's going to be blessed, his delight is in the law of the Lord. Delight. Isn't that an interesting word? Things that get us excited, things that we think are really something, things that make us happy, whatever it might be in your life. I wonder what is your delight. This verse talks about God's word delighting us. How excited are you about God's word? The man who is blessed, it says here, delights in sitting down, opening the word of God and reading and getting principles and seeing what God has for that person. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night, thinks about tosses it over and over in his mind all day long. It's rather interesting. If you look at the Hebrew word there, this is in the Old Testament, written in Hebrew. If you look at the Hebrew word for meditates, it is the same Hebrew word as is used of the Israelites when they were traveling through the wilderness. And now if you remember the old King James translation, they would murmur. They would complain. Think about murmuring. When our boss tells us to do something we don't want to do, but he's our boss, and if we don't do it, we could easily lose our job. You know, we go do it, but we go do it with a begrudging attitude, and we mutter under our breath, oh, God, why did he make blah, 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 blah. 
It's the same word. One's got a negative connotation to murmur. This one has a positive connotation. We take God's word and we murmur it all day long. We meditate on it. We mutter it under our breath. Sit down in the morning, read from God's word, take a verse, maybe even memorize that verse, take the principle from that verse, and then go on your day and remember that and toss it over and over in your mind. Not only in the day, but even when the days end, you lay your head down on your pillow, think about that principle that was taught in God's word. So blessed is a man who isn't influenced by wicked people, but is stabilized, walks a strong Christian life because he loves the word of God, delights in it, and he gets into it and he meditates on it regularly. What wonderful verses these are.